Welcome back to HSGameCenter.com's online training. So now that you've signed up for your account and it's linked into your team, we're going to explore the team dashboard. This is what you get to by going to HSGameCenter.com and then in the upper right corner typing in your login and password and it will take you to this page, your dashboard. Once you're on your dashboard, make sure that you are logged in on season 2013. Some teams will have a 2012 season, whereas some may only have the 2013. But just double check to make sure you are in the right season. Once you're in 2013, we are going to focus right now on the scheduling aspect of making sure your games get into both your dashboard and then sync up with your account online. So what I'm going to do is go into the scheduling page. And what I can do, as you can see here, I already have two games scheduled, but I want to add a third. So I'm going to go to create new game. And the first step is going to be deciding is my team home or away. So in this case, I'll say they're the home team. I can choose between preseason, scrimmage, regular season, and postseason. In this case, I'm going to put the game in as a scrimmage. I select the date of the game. And I can change the time, I can change the hour and the minute by sliding this slider to match up with what I want. Once I select done, your time zone should be auto populated to the game. But if for whatever reason you need to change that, you can do that here. Now I'm going to select my opponent. So I click the choose opponent button. You will notice that under search opponent, you will have three different options. First, your conference name will be listed. So when scheduling your games, since the majority of your games are against a conference or district opponent, we want to make it easy by listing them here for you on this page. As you can see here, here are the teams in Bartlett's conference. But for whatever reason, I don't want to go in and select one of those teams. I can always come here and select back. Now, we assume if you're not playing one of your conference teams, you're probably playing one of the teams in your state. So now, I can click on here, my Alaska schools, and I can search for my team by selecting any letter. And you'll notice that all the teams will show up. If for whatever reason I clicked on the wrong letter, I can go ahead and select back. Now when searching for your opponent, it's important to remember that sometimes schools will be named something other than what you think the name is. So a lot of times if a school is named Jackson High School, sometimes it might be listed as Andrew Jackson or whatever the school's formal name might be. So if you're searching for a school and you don't find it right away, make sure you check some other options before you give up on it. So let's say now I don't want to play a team in my state. I'm going out of state to play a game. I can select back and I can select search by state and I can play any team from any school in any state. So for instance, I've clicked in California, I've clicked on A, and I'm going to play the Abraham Lincoln Lions. So I've clicked on that school. Now once I've clicked on a school, I will click review game. It will now give me confirm game information. So I can confirm that the home team here is listed as Bartlett. The away team is listed as Abraham Lincoln. I can make sure my date, type of game, and time are good to go. At any point in time, if this information is not what you need, just go ahead and click the back to opponents and you can start all over again. But in the meantime, we're going to say this information is correct and I'm going to click save game. Once that game is saved, you will see it here now shows up in my schedule. Away team, Abraham Lincoln, home team, Bartlett, there's my time, and my status is scheduled because the game hasn't started yet. Now you will see that you can also filter games by in progress and scheduled, and they will show up such on your schedule page. Now the other major things you can do from this page are edit games. So let's say the Abraham Lincoln vs. Bartlett game, which was scheduled for 2.30 p.m., now gets moved to 3.30 p.m. I can go in here and click edit. Now you will see everything is editable from your opponent 
to whether or not the game is home or away, the game type, date, and time zone. So I'm going to go ahead and click in date, and I'm going to make this a 330 game, and select done, and select save, and now it is showing as a 330 game. The other thing you can do from that edit function is use this video link and audio link. If you use the video link, this can be used for if, for instance, you are doing a live stream of your game and you can embed the link to that stream into this video link and then not only will your live stats appear but the video or in this case if you select audio the audio will appear above your stats so something to keep in mind if you plan on doing a webcast of your games this season now other major features from the schedule page if I click on this arrow I will see public view, edit, quick entry, and delete. I already showed you what edit does. Now let me show you what public view does. If you click on public view, this is going to be the page that will be updated live as stats are inputted on your device. So you will see right now the game is set up with no information set at zero minutes in the first quarter. But now this site, and you'll see up here this web address, is something that you can copy and put onto your football or school website to link fans to the live stats. So when you're entering the stats in on your iPad or iPhone, this page over here is going to populate with those stats. If you link it properly, your fans can log in online or they can use our HSGC mobile app that is coming out soon this fall and they'll be able to look on and select that game and follow the scores and stats alive. There will be a new page for every game of your season. So you will need to link all of those up if you plan on having your fans follow along. Now if I select back, the third thing I can do is quick entry. Now quick entry can be used if for whatever reason you're statting the game and you don't have an internet connection and you want to just put your stats in in bulk or for instance, if you miss a game, you forgot your device, uh, and you, you don't have it with you, and you want to go ahead and put all of your stats in at one time, what you're able to do here is come in and add plays and stats in. So in this case, I can switch between my schools. So right now, under Bartlett, I've got my number seven, who's the only player on my roster, and I'll be able to go in and change his stats to represent what he actually did over the course of that game, and I'll be able to save it. We'll go over that more in depth in the quick entry uh, tutorial. You would be able to just save, and that information would save. So now if I go back, to my schedule page. That is all you will really need to do on this schedule page. And like I said, it's public view, edit, quick entry, and then of course, for whatever reason, if you need to delete the game, you can do so here. On a game that's already been played, that already has stats, so for instance, this Bartlett versus Blue Valley Northwest game already has some statistics in it, well, not only can I delete it, can I quick enter, I can see the public view, but I'm also able to click on the box score and the play-by-play -play to see those stats from that game. Over here on the device, now, if I go to schedule, you will see that my device synced up and pulled over that game I just created, that Abraham Lincoln versus Bartlett game. If for whatever reason it hadn't, I could have selected the quick sync button and it will pull over all the information off the schedule dashboard. And now I'm able to go into that game and I'm able to start scoring it. So that is all the information you are going to need on the schedule page. And once you have your schedule in for the season, you really won't have to mess around with it again 
um, other than potentially quick entering or maybe editing the times or potentially dates of your games. But once you go ahead and put your schedule in, it's an easy process. And then once it pulls up on your device, you'll see all of your games listed. You'll be able to click on them and you'll be able to start scoring. For rosters and reports and other features of the dashboard, check out our other tutorials. Thanks.